Hello, we are on the WordPress um, backend. And um, today I am going to talk about how we can create a page using the Elementor editor that will showcase all the different product categories um, together with their product listings in one column. All right, so let's um, create a new page. We click on the Add New button. Um, for this page, maybe I just name it um, Shop All. Okay, this is a, a, a special page. I'll name it Shop All. And then uh, I'll scroll down here under Page Attributes. I shall change the template to Elementor for width. Um, and then uh, I will publish it first, okay, as an Elementor full width um, template before I edit with Elementor. All right, so um, let's just say that um, I, I, for this shop or page, I want to organize it by um, the parent categories. All right, so my parent categories will be the bedding, the home deco, the settings, as well as the storage. All right, so I'll first um, just uh, pull in the heading and I shall name this heading um, bedding. All right, I'll name this bedding. Um, and then uh, I will pull in under WooCommerce, I'll look for my um, products for bedding. Okay, I may also want to say, uh, maybe at the background for this session, um, a bedding related background, perhaps. Let me see, um, classic, and then I may add an image. Mm, let's see how this turns out. Uh, um, insert media here. Okay, so I insert a, a kind of a bedding background here. Mm -mm. <clears throat> okay, so it's just gray um, because the top part is gray. All right. Um, but uh, okay. Let's just let's just um um add a little bit of um padding. Okay, add a little bit of a. Uh, a uh, margin, or maybe a little bit of margin. Okay, and then you see the bedding coming out. Okay, so um, for this uh, bedding, I may want to change it to white color instead. So that it may be more obvious. All right, and then um, just increase the size uh, of the title, bedding. Okay, so now I have a bedding banner that shows a little bit of the bedding image. All right. Uh, so below, I want to display all the products that um, is under bedding. Okay, or maybe some of the products that is under bedding. Uh, I want it to be automatically queried out. So when I add new products, um, they will also appear here. Now let us go down to WooCommerce heading, and then I shall pull in the products here. All right, I'll pull it in here. Uh, so I will query, and when I query, I'll include by term, and under term, I'm going to uh, type in bedding. Okay, so now we see product categories bedding. So all um, products under this bedding category will appear here, will appear here, okay? Um, so order by date, okay. Um, so it should be okay. So, um, content now, number of rows. Um, I may want to just stick to one and I will on the pagination. Um, columns four, all right. Columns four is all right. Okay, so we have it now. We have the bedding and the products. Now, I will like to duplicate this um this part this entire section i'll right click here i will duplicate so now we have two bedding right and i'm going to just uh, move this section um downwards or i may just move this upwards here okay so this um for this section um my next category will be home deco 
here I change it to home depot. And as for the background, um, I shall now um, just choose here home deco background that is a little bit darker in color. So that's my white color font stands out. Yep, so we have a home deco here. And again, I'm going to pull in my, uh, I can duplicate this. Seeing here, I've styled it already. Okay, I'm going to right click here. Um, and then duplicate. Okay, and then I'm going to um, drag this up so that that product listing comes down. Okay, now this, and then I will change the quarry to <coughs> home deco. Home deco. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we have. Um, Okay, our home deco um, product here. Now, let us repeat the same. Duplicate. Okay, and then this one will go up. The next one will be sitting. Okay, so I'm going to change this title to settings. Okay, um, as well as the background image. <coughs> I'm going to include an image of... Uh, a dark, um, a dark colored sofa. Okay, but you can't really see the sofa. It's fine. Now I'll do the same for the product listing here. I shall duplicate them. Okay, shall duplicate them. Um, and then I'll drag this up. Yep. Okay, I'll drag this up. Okay, now here. Okay, so over here I'll quarry out. We'll remove the term here. Okay, and query out um sitting. Sittings. Okay, sitting. So we have our sittings here. Okay. And uh, the last one will be duplicate. Um, so the last one will be storage. Okay, so I'll do the same storage. Um I will also edit the background for storage or look for uh storage image um hmm. let me try maybe um let's see let's just ah red color okay so again my white color form stays out um and then again i will duplicate this thing here and then for this one i'll move it up okay then over here i'll quarry by storage. Okay, so we have our storage um, products here. Okay, and then I will update and um, we can now take a look at the view page. Okay, take a look at how it turns out. So we have uh, the bedding um, as a category title over here. And then my buildings will be here, okay? Uh, home deco, and we have our home deco products, settings, sitting products, um, and then we have storage and our storage products here, okay? So we may set the product listing to full width if we prefer that um, to take on the space over here, okay? But the images will look bigger. You may decide on how many columns you want as well when you turn it to full width um, section. So this is all that I want to show. Thank you for watching.